Hello guys, if you're like most people watching this video, you are probably on an emotionally unavailable social reject with anger issues and no hopes and dreams, or simply put, a League of Legends player. And that's okay because I am one too, and this channel is a safe place for us. Now, today's guide is about a champion that has the reputation of the most annoying, hated, borderline disgusting champion in League of Legends, or at least that was before Yumi got released. The champion that when playing a support may not always win lane, but is guaranteed to win every game. Ooh, baby! Nice vibe, Slimester! The devil of League of Legends, Team of Support. Guys, back in 2009, when I was teaching Faker how to play Teemu support, he said to me, Lemister, isn't Teemu going to fit better in top lane because of his ranged AP attacks that can easily shred tanks and bruisers? <sighs> and this is where he disappointed me completely. Guys, Faker clearly missed the entire point of Teemu support, so I had to stop teaching him. He never succeeded as support and was forced to become a measly mid laner. Truly sad, and he had potential. Teemu support is about strategic, tactical gameplay, so we're gonna be mainly focusing on them shrooms, but more about that later. At the start of the game, we're gonna head straight to the enemy's closest buff because we're gonna be invading it every single time. Guys, here is the deal. You either get a free buff or get 16 kills and the free buff. Check this out. I've taken a tactical position in the bush and came Bates Master E to come near me. I blind him and we take his flash. Easy! But we're far from done and we go for the buff. Looks like the entire team wants to die and Tristana forces on me, but I blind her. Notice how Kane stole the blue buff and we already took two flashes. We fight a little bit and I get a kill on E, then I ignite Lux to help my team and then blind Tristana again so she can't finish off Kane. We get four kills and a blue buff. And guys, this happens every time you invade with Teemo. Okay, maybe not every time. Thing is, your invade might not always work out the way you planned it, but it doesn't matter. Remember when I said Teemo is guaranteed to win every game? Well, it's true, it's like written in the code. I have 150% win rate, meaning I win more games than I actually play, so giving away first blood here and there is no big deal. After you take their buff, kill their jungler and make them regret ever opening the game, it's time for a laning phase. Laning phase is simple, and here is when we're gonna be learning the first and um, only combo with Teemo. It's poking with basic attack and then Q, not to be mistaken with the Q and then basic attack. It's much faster that way. Poke, poke, poke and then poke some more. Poking will eventually turn into kills. Now, let's talk about the most important mechanic you have to learn with Teemo. Trusting the blind. Guys, this is what makes Teemo so terrifying on the bot lane. Check this out. Misfortune gets caught by their full AP look support and Kai'Sa flashes in to pick up the kill, but I blind her instantly and Misfortune turns back to fight her with me. Misfortune trusted the blind and we got a kill. Here I find the vein, I blind her and I just walk away because I trust the blind. Ridiculous outplay. In this clip, we see an Udyr coming in the bush only to miss me about 5000 times and then just die anyway. I'm walking around bot lane and I spot an enemy control wall that just turned out to be the enemy AD carry. Guess I just couldn't see the difference. <laughs> The joke here is that the control wall disables vision and that's why I couldn't see it and Vayne deals as much damage as the control wall. Please like and subscribe. In this situation, Ian and Pantheon are going to try and kill Ash, so I blind D at the last second, save Ash and we get an easy kill. Then I flash away to avoid dying. I call this move blind and run. It's like hit and run but more illegal. Okay, enough goofing around. I know what you guys want, the meat and potatoes of this guide. Or should I say the shrooms and potatoes? <laughs> why are my jokes so funny? Timo's ultimate, aka flash magnet. Lemister, what's with the silly names? Let me show you. Twisted Fate tries to kill us, Flash Magnet. Vayne tries to escape us, Flash Magnet. Tristana trying to play the game, Jump Magnet. Yeah, you're not going anywhere after this one. <laughs> <coughs> I'm so sorry, I don't know where that came from. Ezreal running from our Ezreal, Blink Magnet, what, what, what is this even called? Unsuspecting Lee Sin coming in the bush, getting double blinded, missing his Q and then using the plant to get away from me? Plant Magnet. Where do you think Pantheon is holding right now? Old Magnet. Aphelios, you're not like the rest of them, right? Never mind, Flash Magnet. In this clip, I place a Shroom, let Hecarim ult through it, kill him, which gives me just enough time to place another Shroom so that Rihanna can flash into it. I'm telling you guys, it's a Flash Magnet. 
sometimes you're gonna get a nice magnetic combo. First Fiora dashes into it just so she can then flash into it. Now let me repeat that for the people in the back. Lee Sin first dashes into it and then flashes into it. Simple. Oh, Mr. you're so good at this game, how do you place this shroom so accurately, I wanna be like you. Listen, guys, learning how to correctly place the shrooms is the most important thing you have to learn when playing Teemo. Teemo is about understanding the human psychology, so you have to place the shrooms on the most common places where people go. Featuring undodgeable shrooms in narrow paths that you're just guaranteed to hit. Tactical shrooms on the edge of bushes where they're just guaranteed to hit. The defensive shrooms in the middle of the lane to stop enemies from pushing which are just guaranteed to hit. And the laning shrooms just on the side of the minion way where enemies most commonly position themselves and are basically guaranteed to hit. Examples. In this clip, I use my psychic powers to lead the enemy bot lane into my lane shroom. I wait for Vega's stun to remove itself and then, oh, would you look at that? While they're backing, they go into my second lane shroom. Me and Ezreal go in and we take an easy kill. I call this move the double shroom madness. Here's something we've never seen before. Oh, never mind, it's just the double shroom madness. Well, I guess I will be just... In this clip, I get a kill on Irelia and then switch to the enemy's vision world, but it decides to absolutely outplay us and becomes invisible. Such an unfair game. Well played, vision world. In this situation, I place a tactical shroom next to the undodgeable. Jax, please show them how it works. Thanks. Viego, your wife called. She likes me now. Wait, Viego, no, that's not the answer. Wait, Viego, no! <laughs> Mastery, please be careful. There is a tactical shroom in the bush. Oh. Well, not only that, but I kill Vayne too. Speaking of Vayne, please, there is an undodgeable shroom you can't go around. Oh my god! Kindred is trying to kill Baron. Rookie mistake because there is an absolutely disgusting shroom just waiting there to be stepped in. But she is not done and two minutes later the unthinkable happens. Kindred, what are you doing there? Come on, we've been through this, Jesus Christ. Now, because we didn't really see that happen, I'll have to use advanced technology to reenact that play. Pew pew pew! Dash, I'm helping, boop, lump, lump. You have slain an enemy. Oh my god, the mister, we love you! In this clip, I'm running away from the two hardest champions in League of Legends. I go in the bush and try to become invisible, but I fail and die. Well, I guess there's nothing to see here, but it's a good segue to my next important lesson. Guys, the most important thing you have to learn with Teemo is utilizing his passive. Sneaky bastard Teemo. There are two ways to go about this. Either just wait for a teammate to bait them and murder them with no mercy, or just use strategic shrooms and then murder them with no mercy. EXAMPLES Silas wants to kill Misfortune 1v1, but he just doesn't know how much of a sneaky bastard I am. Misfortune does a good job of leading him into my shroom and we get the easiest of kills. Tell me if this sounds familiar. You play a game of League of Legends and you don't have a jungler. Well, me neither, so I have to do it all by myself. I take position of dragon, carefully wait for Udio to fail the one thing he had to do, steal his dragon and I even get an assist on Blitzcrank. Indescribable outplay. One of the sweetest things you can do with Timo is assassinating the enemy assassin on his own lane. <laughs> Kaden is fighting, um, um, who is this champion? Well, I guess it doesn't matter now. <laughs> Minding my own business in the bush and oh, Jin, you going somewhere? I think not. <laughs> Silly little fool. How many shrooms can you go to before you realize that I am here? <laughs> <laughs> I think you can see me because of your mask. Let me take it off for you. <laughs> Alistar, you know how I like my steak? Poisoned. <laughs> Mike, you try to swim away? Drown in your failure. <laughs> Oh dear, you're so stupid I don't even want to joke with you. Into the shroom you go. And you, and you. Don't forget you two. Support item. 
I think I lost consciousness just now. I don't know what happened. I guess that's enough leak for today. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like and subscribe. And also, leave a comment telling me how this guide is irrelevant and wouldn't work past bronze. The most creative hate comment will get a very special shout out in my next video, which is scheduled to be released in about 6 months. I'll see you guys next time. Boy! What?